I was 29 years old when I became the Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshivat Bnei Akiva Pirche Aharon. My wife and I had five young children at home, but I also had 300 children at the Yeshiva. Now Hila and I have 10 children, and as the Director General of Yeshivot Bnei Akiva, I'm responsible for 24,000 children. It's a very big family. We see our students that way. They are our children and our gift to the nation of Israel. Like all parents, we want what is best for them, and we will give them everything we possibly can to prepare them for the future. When I came to the Upana and Meron, they actually gave me the opportunity to major in physics. Even though we were only four girls who were interested in physics, they actually opened the program for us. That's actually what led me towards learning physics afterwards for my degree. I chose uh, engineering, biomedical engineering. I did my first degree in uh, biomedical engineering and my second degree in applied physics. And that all started from you know those three intense years where I studied physics in high school. It's an academic track. One year after I finish high school, I get a university degree in computer science. Music for sure is going to help me for the rest of my life. A pediatrician. I wanted to be a pediatrician. Robotics is something new that they started this year because last year there was a big demand for it and they opened it and it's a big success. I would like to be working in high tech. I'm in physics, computers and history. One of our graduates, Mrs. Dana Matzo, is a member in the team of Professor Ada Yonat, who received last year a Nobel Prize in Chemistry. And also her younger sister, that is also a graduate of uh, our Ulpena, is now receiving her doctorate, PhD, in the Hebrew University in the same field. We have sciences on different levels. We recently are promoting a few fantastic levels, which is, uh, which is cyber warfare, for, to get into special uh, units, um, electronic units in the army. And we are promoting, starting next year, a special medical program uh, together with Shari Tzedek for boys who want extra studies in that direction. We have physics. My main plan is to work in academia. That means to become a professor, to teach physics in colleges and university. And that's why I'm going up, up to the top. I'm planning on doing my PhD and hopefully my postdoctorate in physics or applied physics, we'll see, and go on and, and teach it to the new generation. <laughs> For every student, our goal is to help him reach his maximum potential. These students have great ambitions, but to reach these goals, they need a lot of help. We don't just accept exceptional students. We strive to make all our students exceptional. In Ethiopia, I was a shepherd. Until I started my studies in Israel, I had never even held a pencil in my hand. But they gave me encouragement, built up my confidence, and made me reach for heights I couldn't have dreamed of. I work hard, and uh, they helped me. The students here are lacking a lot of basic information. There's a lot, a lot of work to be done. We just need so many hours to be able to fill the gaps that these students have, but we have seen that we can succeed if we have those hours, if we can give them what they need. After this, I will be a doctor, and uh, I, will, I want to uh, learn and uh, study uh, in university. In the world, the doctors are uh, very useful and important to do for uh, our uh, people. I want to be engineer. And I learn hard and I work hard. Uh, I, I learn physics and uh, electronics, mathematics. The student population is growing. We need to expand in many locations around the country. We have plans for new campuses and expansion in Elkanah, Holon, Efrat, Nevetsuf in Samaria region. At the moment we have 158 students in our school and uh, we are overwhelmed with the amount of applicants and we're oversubscribed and we have to get a bigger building. 
I have, the amount of applicants who really want to come to my school is very, very large, and I have to turn down more students than I accept. It's a ridiculous situation. The new campus, Mirza Hashem, will be able to have at least 300 students. We can take a du double or treble intake. Recent budget cuts in the Ministry of Education are eating us very out. To the tune of 18 million shekel, that is about five million dollars, that is 7% of our total budget. The Ministry of Education gives us a set budget, and it's about half of what we really need. It's a tremendous burden on the Ulpana, and therefore we always need extra funding. Hezder Yeshivot achieve a delicate balance of Torah learning and military service. These students serve with distinction in elite combat units, excelling on the battlefield, as well as in their studies, making a great contribution to the state of Israel. Many of my boys who continue uh, in the army, and I have officers in the Air Force, I have officers in the Navy, I have officers in infantry, I have officers in the Tzanchanim and paratroopers. Our future is being determined right now in the educational institutions of Israel. We have to ensure that our children are ready to take up the reins of leadership. Many of them can propel us forward in industry and medicine, in science, in culture. We have seen the results of our efforts to date in the Knesset, where so many legislators attended one of our schools. In virtually every institution of importance, you will find Yeshivot B'nai Akiva graduates. The challenge for us now is to maintain what we have accomplished and improve in critical areas that are key for the Jewish people and the State of Israel.